Greetings, Monster Hunters. I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of horror. <laughs> yes, this is the one day a year where I sweep away all of my preconceived notions of providing a family show and delve deep into the gore and guts. <laughs> Only this year, for my inaugural Halloween special, I've picked Van Helsing. So then, Van Helsing. Released in 2004, Van Helsing is a tribute to the classic Universal Monster movies. Hugh Jackman stars as Gabriel Van Helsing in a quest to redeem the Valerius family as they seek to destroy everyone's favourite vampire, Dracula. So, grab your stakes, crosses, silver bullets, and favourite teddy bears. We're on the road to Transylvania with Van Helsing. We open in that sleepy hamlet of Eastern Europe, Transylvania. Victor Frankenstein has created a flesh golem. It's alive! It's alive! And yes, I'll be referring to the good doctor's creation as a flesh golem throughout this review. Frankenstein is the creator, not the monster. And a Frankenstein just makes me cringe. <laughs> so, flesh golem it is. And if you don't like it, you can complain in the comments below. But a certain local nobleman has big plans for it. What are you saying? Why do you think I brought you here? You said you believed in my work. And I do. The flesh golem himself is having none of it, and incapacitates Dracula, before escaping to a nearby windmill. Why? Because they're superstitious Transylvanian villagers, and it's 1887, that's why! Though having said that, I wouldn't put it past most of the folks around here. Even in 2011. Yeah. Cut to Paris. 1888. Mr. Hyde is on the loose, and we meet our protagonist, Gabriel Van Helsing. I missed you in London. <laughs> no, you bloody did not. You got me good. And they fight. Long story short, Van Helsing wins. But at what cost? Cut to Rome and the story proper. The knight Valerius dedicated his life to fighting and defeating Dracula, promising not to rest, nor that his family would enter the heavens with his work undone. They have not succeeded, and they are running out of family. And so Van Helsing travels to Transylvania, and we meet our second protagonist, Anna Valerius. Well, that's one way to make an entrance. Permit me to show you another. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Brides of Dracula. Van Helsing puts paid to one bride. And the other two flee. Her overconfidence was her weakness. Rot in hell, thou pernicious hemophage! That night, Anna's brother Velkin returns. Anna, look out! Velkin! Anna. Oh my god, you But oh dear. Van Helsing and Anna track the Lupine Velkin straight to Castle Frankenstein. Here's an interesting factoid for you. 
James Whale, director of the original Universal Frankenstein, modelled his Castle Frankenstein after Dudley Castle, near to where he grew up, in the Cates Hill area of Dudley. In fact, there's a monument to him outside the Showcase Cinemas in Dudley. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Inside Castle Frankenstein, Dracula is attempting to awaken his children. The Dwergi, they are doing well, huh? I may have failed to kill you, Count, but my sister will not! Really? My sister will avenge me? Not a very manly statement for 1888, that now, is it? Vampires are the walking dead. It only makes sense that children are born dead. All seems well. And they flock to the village to feed. And while Van Helsing and Dracula converse... How long has it been? Three? Four hundred years? Anna manages to free her brother from the Count's grasp. Which is bad news for the fledgling vampires. Mmm, poppin' vampires! Now there's good eating. Our heroes visit the ruined windmill. Underneath the ruins of the windmill, Van Helsing and Anna discover the flesh golem. Who's the monster here? If you value your lives, and the lives of your kind, you will kill me! But oh dear. And so the decision is made to take the flesh golem to Rome. I'm staring at him. Freya Carl, ladies and gentlemen, as played by David Wenham. Sometimes you just can't top a comedy line. Predictably, the carriage is intercepted by the surviving brides. But Van Helsing had planned for that. Mistakes. And that's two for two. But shed no tear for the vampire, dear viewer, for they would not grieve for you. Not that things are much better on the other carriage. Our heroes abandon carriage and end up in the woods. Sadly, Belkin dies. But they lingered a moment too long, and the last bride swipes Anna. A deal is made to swap the flesh golem for Anna at the Halloween Masquerade Ball. I undead! I shall have my revenge! The trio make their escape. I would say that Carl invented the first flashbang, but it's all flash, no bang. Kinda like me that way. And so the stage is set for our finale. Via a secret door, our heroes discover Castle Dracula and prepare to confront the fiend. The flesh golem tells of the werewolf cure. There is a cure. And our heroes split up to collect it. But if you try to get Igor... <laughs> Van Helsing attempts to free the flesh golem. But it's too late. Lightning strikes the creature. And Dracula's children live. But the providence of God delivers him to the aid of Anna. Anna swings out and catches the all-important cure. But while the final bride isn't finished with Anna, Anna is finished with her. I think if you're going to kill someone, kill them! Great advice there. And that's three for three. Rot in hell, thou scarlet minions of the beast himself. And Van Helsing is finished with Dracula. But the werewolf curse isn't finished with him. And worse, curing Van Helsing costs Anna her life. And so our movie ends with Van Helsing and Carl sending the flesh golem to the sea and Anna's soul to heaven.
sappy, yes. But I don't mind. Not really. Anyway, that was Van Helsing. And yes, it's a fun adventure. But I don't think I can put this one into the House of Love. Watching this film again, I found it hard going. The pacing is uneven, and it goes without saying that the Mr. Hyde scene is completely redundant. My biggest complaint is that at 126 minutes, it's a good half hour too long. But I can't bring myself to say that this is a bad film. It's a big, dumb action movie, based on the classic Universal Monsters. And the baddies are bad, and the big set pieces are big, and it's all turned up to 11. Say what you will about the nonsensical plot, and it is a nonsensical plot. But if you can switch off your brain, Van Helsing is, in the words of my esteemed compatriot, one hell of a ride. So thanks for watching, and join me in two weeks for the start of Matrix Month. Don't have nightmares.